Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. So in last video, we understood the concept of subnet masking, right? So in this video, let's solve an example and see how it works, okay? And how you use this con concept to solve problems. So in this question, we have been given a subnet mask, which is 255.255.224, okay? And then we have to identify how many subnets are there in each class. Okay, so when it says each class, it means like it's you can easily identify I mean understand that we have to identify number of subnets for every class which is starting from class A, right? So if we write this subnet in binary, it will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, how many ones? Okay, 4, dot 1, 1. 1.11 1 1 and 1 you know 0 0 0 0 0 right so this is binary representation of this address this subnet mask now we know here that all ones are this all ones all ones are SID, sorry, uh, NID plus SID, right? And these are for HID, right? Now for class A, we know, what do we know? We know that this is the part of, that is first part is for NID, okay? So now we understand that how many bits are remaining for SID? So SID bits are this 8, this 8 and this 3, okay. So it will be 19, okay. So how many subnets we can have? We can have 2 to the power 19 subnets. Subnets for class A, fine. Okay, similarly, when we go for class B, let's do it quickly now. So, for class B, here we will have how many bits for NID? So, we will have this two octets. I'm not writing again, so it will be like from here. Okay, so this these two octets will be for NID. So, 16 bits are for network ID, right, NID. So how many bits are remaining for SID, subnet ID? So SID bits are this 8 and this 3. So it will be 11 bits. Okay. So number of subnets will be 2 to the power 11 subnets for class B. For class C, this network ID will become NID will become how much bits it will be 16 up to here right first three octets so it will be 24 bits so SID bits are only these three bits these three bits so number of SIDs 2 to the power 3 subnets for class C and as we don't use class E and D so we won't be calculating subnets okay uh, number of subnets for them so so I hope this is clear now and if I explain it again quickly so it would be like so we know that in subnet mask ones are formed by this NID and SID right and for class A NID bits are first octet, right? So remaining ones that is from here to here will be subnet ID bits for class A and these are 19. So number of subnets will be 2 to the power 19. Okay. Similarly for class B number of subnets will be 2 to the power 11. Okay. Because here network IDs are of 16 bit. Okay. Now one thing you should notice here is for all the cases, number of hosts are same. That is, 
this host bit is fixed to 5 for all the cases all the class okay so in all cases number of hosts will be number of hosts will be 2 to the power 5 right and minus 2 because we don't use first one and last one right okay so i hope you understand this if you have any doubt please ask your question in doubt section thanks for watching